Hey, good morning, everyone. So we just got dropped off back on trail and have entered officially the 100 mile wilderness. Trying to do the entire thing in about five days, which is very aggressive. Uh, it's gonna be basically five twenties in a row. <laughs> Some even higher than that, but that's all right. I think we're trying to shoot for 19 today to get to the cloud pond lean to or the shelter there. And then uh, the uh, next few days, I think the first half of the Smokies, or excuse me, the first half of the 100 mile wilderness will be a little tough. The second half is quite a bit easier. Very little amount of elevation, and we'll be at the base of Katahdin. All right, so at this point, I've just gotten used to having wet feet. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it is just one stream crossing after the next, and the streams are you know, knee high, and so there's no rocks hopping. It'd actually be more dangerous to rock hop, so you just end up walking right through it. It's, uh, it's kind of fun, but it gets old. Check it out, only 100 miles left to Katahdin. <sighs> All right, so got about 1.8 miles to the shelter. Fortunately, about one mile of that is straight uphill still. I am absolutely beat. I uh, didn't eat enough, didn't sleep well last night. Probably not enough water. It's a whole host of reasons, but we did do 19 miles today, which is what we needed to do. I'm actually ahead of my group, which is shocking. Uh, normally, I am one of the last ones uh, that would be getting into camp. But yeah, tough day. Hoping that tomorrow is a better day. Might get a nice sunset though at the top of this hill. So fingers crossed for that. Boy, this is tough. This is really, really tough. Hey, good morning, everyone. So last night was a very difficult day in the evening for me. Uh, when I took the side trail to get to the shelter, which was 0.4 miles off trail, almost half a mile, that's always fun. I took a really bad fall, really, really bad fall. Thank God that I did not break anything or that uh, I didn't injure myself. It was an absolute miracle. Uh, I fell from probably four feet, four or five feet up, straight onto rock. Uh, I was able to get my, my hands out to stop the fall, uh, but I did uh, hit, end up hitting my head a bit on a rock that was nearby. Uh, scraped up my legs, my knees, but boy, I mean, it could have been so much worse. I mean, it could have ended my hike five days prior to summoning Katahdin. So made me realize I gotta be more careful. I was exhausted. I was angry at the trail. It's been so muddy. It's it's so much mud everywhere. And water and everything. Oh, ready to be done. The uh, northern main is a little more flat, but the trail is very, very difficult. It's slow moving, but today we've got 19 miles to go. We're gonna try to find a little tent site. It's just before the White Cap Mountains. For those of y'all not familiar, White Cap is gonna be the first mountain that we can actually see Katahdin from. So that's gonna be cool. I think as soon as I see it, I'm gonna get really excited. But uh, the problem is white cap is gonna be probably a tomorrow morning thing. And unfortunately, I think it's supposed to be rainy tomorrow. So we may not be able to see it actually, but fingers crossed. We got, we got 
duct tape, some yeah. duco tape. <laughs> KT tape. It's meant to be as heavy as possible. Where's the black box? Hey, good morning, everyone. So, I uh, ended up getting to the shelter last night. We decided to go ahead and set up shop there, which was about two miles short of our goal. The goal was a campsite that was uh, going to be a little bit further, but the shelter is always nice because the shelters uh, keep us dry. So there was some room in the shelter, uh, so I didn't have to set up a tent, get the tent wet, and then potentially get my foot box and other things wet from condensation. So went ahead and made the decision to stay a little bit short. Got up early, and I am now trying to make up those miles now. There's a few of us that stayed there, actually. So hopefully it's a, a good day. It did rain all night last night. I think it's going to be overcast and potentially kind of cloudy the rest of today, which means we likely will be unable to see Katahdin from Whitecap Mountain. So that is unfortunate. So this mountain that I'm hiking up right now, White Cap Mountain, it is the final like significant climb that we've got until Katahdin. So as much as I hate hiking up mountains, <laughs> it is a little bittersweet, bittersweet, excuse me. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of just trying to take it all in. Wish we had nicer weather, but that's all right. That's part of the experience. So dealing with the rain on the Appalachian Trail. It is sad that, to know that in a few days I will be back home in the city. That this life of living in the woods, of camping, of being around these friends that I've made, it's going to be over. And we'll all be back home doing what we do, living life, being with our family and friends that we had before the trail. It's kind of a sad moment, but that's life. People come into your life, they make a massive impact, and sometimes they leave. And that's just part of the life and part of the experience. You gotta appreciate what you have when you have it. Just really take it all in, enjoy the moment. That's what I'm gonna do with this last final climb. I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna be upset, that it's hot, or that it's windy, or that it's cold, or that it's rainy. Just take it all in. All right, now that I said all that sweet stuff and I'm halfway up this mountain, I'm going back. I hate hiking up mountains. It's the worst. <laughs> all right, here it is. Top of White Cap. Obviously, we won't be able to see Katahdin, unfortunately, but that is all right. We will be at the top of Katahdin in just a few days. And I'm okay with that. All right, well, so far today's been an awesome day. I feel really good. Um, I think I'm going to end up doing like 22, 23 miles, only like three and a half, four left of the day. The trail was difficult the first seven miles getting up to White Cap. And, and when I say difficult, it's all in perspective. It actually wasn't that bad compared to what we were doing in the past couple hundred miles. But now it's just been this like nice, nice trail, nice slow gray down. We're crushing like three, three and a half miles an hour, we're making some really, really good time. Tomorrow we're planning to do 26, which is always a marathon days, never fun. Uh, they always seem impossible, but I think all day tomorrow is gonna be like this, where it's just a nice slow grade following a river. If that's the case, we'll get done quick. I mean, eight hours, maybe eight, somewhere between eight to 10 hours. Hey, good morning, everyone. So uh, wrapping up breakfast here in my tent right now. I'm gonna get torn down and get everything packed up and out of camp hopefully by seven o'clock, which is a little later than I was hoping, but it should still give me plenty of time to do the marathon day. We're gonna to try to do 26 miles, which I think is gonna be right at, or maybe just, just a bit 
more than what I've done ever done before, my highest. So it's pretty flat. It's only about 3,000 feet of elevation, which I mean, sometimes we've been doing that in a single climb. So it should be very, very flat for most of the day. I think there's one little bit of a mountain we'll be going over, only like five, 600 feet or something. But uh, yeah, so excited to do this, excited to get done with the day. It's gonna be a long day, but let's get after it. So after meeting so many people on this trail, I've realized that physically, I think anyone can do this trail. Your body will adapt and it'll get used to the punishment. This whole trail is mental. It is 100% mental. If you're in it mentally, you'll make it physically. The, uh, there's been people that are in their 70s, even 80s. A lot of older folks, a lot of retired folks that are out here hiking this trail and have made it. It is a tough mental game. I absolutely understand that. There have been so many days when I didn't think I could make it, so many days that I wanted to quit. I think everyone goes through those days. The difference is you push through, you continue on, you look at that goal, you realize what this dream that you want, and you keep pushing. Push through the pain, push through the difficult times. If it's rainy, you gotta hike. If it's cold, you gotta hike. If it's hot, you gotta hike. At the end of the day, if you keep doing it, you'll finally make it. To Baxter State Park, you'll finally make it to Katahdin. All right, so today's been pretty tough. So on pace to do my 26th marathon, uh, right around by sundown, but I just had zero energy. Uh, my feet, my legs, they were very, very sore. My stomach's been giving me some issues here today. And uh, I just don't know what's going on. It's uh, not been a real productive day. I think I'd be much further along right now than I had my full energy like I did yesterday. But I think I'm just tired from yesterday. I put in a lot of miles. Feeling really pretty tough uh, today because of that. But I told myself I just need to put in five more hours and then I will be home free. I will have made the marathon. So I'm trying to just keep a two mile per hour pace. I've got about 10 miles left. So hopefully I can make it. Yeah, even this close to Katahdin and in the 100 mile wilderness, still some tough days. Check it out. It's my first view of Katahdin. That's what I've been hiking from Georgia for. Be there in three days. All right, I've got one and a half miles left on today. We're getting to the shelter. I cannot wait. I'm so exhausted. I think I'm gonna get there right when sundown is occurring. The trail has not been that easy, unfortunately. Oh, it's a long day. Full marathon, proud of myself. I think this is the longest day by a little bit. It's tough, but tomorrow should only be 15 miles into Abel Bridge, we get some food. Me at the base of Katahdin. Hey, good morning, everyone. So last night got into camp. I think right at around 6:45, right as the sun went down, and uh, I just had dinner real quick and passed out in the shelter. The rest of my group they actually continued on about two miles. They wanted to go to a dam uh, where there was a really nice view, and I just did not have that in me. I would have completely. Uh, just collapsed <laughs> hiking that those last two miles there's, there's no way I could have made that so I went ahead and stayed back uh, I got up pretty early though today so I might be passing by them as they are still getting everything set up uh, I am incredibly sore and stiff today this has got to be the worst that it's ever been on this entire trail and that is because we've been doing over 20 miles days for the past four days. Thankfully today, it is only a 15 mile day into Abel Bridge uh, where there'll be a restaurant and resupply. I think we were planning is to stay there tonight and then the next day is basically a zero uh, as we wait for Friday. Should be really nice weather uh, for us to summit Katahdin. So it's gonna be awesome.
All right, so my group was definitely still all asleep in their tents when I showed up to the dam where the pond was at. And, uh, or I should say the pond where the dam was at, I guess is a better way of saying that. But uh, I went ahead and gonna continue on. We've got 13 miles to Abel Bridge. And tomorrow, apparently, I think we have 11 miles tomorrow and then five up to Katahdin. And we are so close. This is crazy. Very excited. I know I've been saying this over and over again, but that's the only way, way to describe it. I uh, got a little emotional this morning. I'm not a very emotional person, but there's a really beautiful view of the lake uh, as I was hiking out this morning. And I looked over and I saw a white blaze. And I looked down and I saw these rocks and these roots. And I was like, I'm gonna miss these stupid blazes. I'm gonna miss these stupid rocks. I'm gonna miss these stupid roots. There's been so many difficult times that I have hated every step. But really, I'm gonna miss it all. I'm gonna miss the difficult days just as much as I, I'm gonna miss the awesome days. All right, so I just got done having a little snack at the very last shelter of the AT. Oh, it's kind of kind of sad to think about. The shelter's really such a fun place. You'd go there for lunch, you'd hang out and chat with folks, wait to meet up with your friends or meet them there. It's just, uh, I don't know, kind of sad that I won't have those experiences anymore. In the evenings, it was always a spot where we'd stop for the for the night and hang out and build fires but that's all right that's how life goes things pass and on to bigger better and newer things so just right now when i left the last shelter uh it started raining just sprinkling just a little bit and it reminded me of the first shelter that i stayed at it's that springer mountain shelter so after my brother had dropped me off at the parking lot, it was pouring down rain. It was so cold. I get to the shelter, and it's completely packed. I could barely find any room to even just squeeze in to sit down. And I've had to sit there and wait the rain out. Finally, there's a little break, and I hopped up and out of the shelter and set up my tent for the night and just went to bed. And I was so exhausted. All I could think about was, how tough that day was and how imagining how difficult the rest of the trail was going to be. And thankfully, I didn't get rained on too much over the past six months, but it certainly was difficult. It's more difficult than I could have ever imagined, but it was such an awesome and wonderful experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. If you have the ability, I recommend it to everyone to at least attempt a through hike of the AT. The people you meet along the way will change your lives. The experience will change you. So many people that I met early on, I barely even recognize them now because of how much the trail has changed them over these past six months. I love this trail, I love the people. I love the experience. I wouldn't trade for anything. And I can't wait to be able to share it with my family and friends when I get home. I can't wait for this next chapter of my life. And I can't wait to hopefully do another trail someday. Whether it's the PCT or the CT or the CDT or the John Muir or even doing the long trail again. We'll see. But the Appalachian Trail is special. It really is. It's an amazing experience. There really is no words to describe the Appalachian Trail. All right, made it to the road crossing for Abel Bridge. It's been raining just a little bit still today, but uh, it's actually somewhat clear. It's just a random cloud above us. Heard that it should be gone in about an hour. And there's Katahdin in the background. Got some cloud cover today, unfortunately, but. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, okay, it's root beer plus You don't like root beer.